The Earth looked a delicate blue floating in a black sky. So said the first man in space after his fabulous journey of 108 minutes, Major Yuri Gagarin, a 27-year-old Soviet Air Force officer whose name will live in history. Tracking Russian progress stage by stage, the Jodrell Bank radio telescope has been directed by Professor Sir Bernard Lovell. I think that this Russian achievement of landing an astronaut safely after orbiting the Earth is really one of the greatest events in the history of mankind. The Russians have succeeded in breaking the barrier which binds man to Earth, and the path is now open for them to explore the solar system. It's remarkable that this great feat has been achieved by a nation which a generation ago was largely illiterate. And I think it's a, an amazing example of what can be achieved by singleness of purpose, uh, coupled with a very great investment in education and research. It's a lesson which the peoples of the West will continue to disregard at their peril. Britain's reaction has been one of admiration, coupled with speculation as to the next phase of space travel. I think that quite soon we shall see that the Russians have the rocket capability of making a soft landing of instruments on the lunar surface. And in a few years' time, uh, this technique will be coupled with the astronautical technique and they will put into orbit around the moon a human being. And I believe that in the next five or seven years, the Russians will fulfill their seven-year plan for science, uh, which in, in which they intend to make a landing of a human being on the moon. Man is reaching for the stars.